Let's talk about ways that you can use a contingency table when you're finding out probabilities. So a contingency table is just a tool that we can use to help us find probabilities because it's going to help us when we're dealing with intersections and with unions. So an intersection is when both events are happening at the same time. So for example, that's the probability that it's raining and that it's Tuesday. So this can also be called joint probability. And we'll write it out like this with the probability of A and B. So that little upside down U is our and sign. A union is when either event is happening or they're happening together. So for example, it's the probability that it's raining or that it's Tuesday, right? It doesn't have to rain on Tuesday. Both events don't have to happen together. It's the probability of either event happening. And we write it out like this with the probability of A or B. So or is just the regular U. So let's take a look at this contingency table. We have classes. We have freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. And then we have a couple different majors. We have marketing majors and management majors. With this contingency table, we can find the following probabilities. First, the probability of a freshman or a management major. Then the probability of a junior and marketing major. And then just the probability of a management major. So let's first talk about the or. Freshman or management. It's always helpful to then highlight the pieces that we care about. And that's these here, the freshman row and the management column. Now, if you'll notice, there's that 12 there where freshmen and management intersect. So we need to be careful when we're working through the or problems because we don't want to count that 12 twice, right? So there's a reason why we can't just go 64 plus 27 and take the two totals here because that would count the 12 twice. So instead, think of it as just adding together all of the individual pieces, the 15 and the 12, and then we work our way down the management column and do the 13, 18, and 21. We add all of those pieces together. That's your numerator. And we divide it by the grand total. The grand total is 123 students. So 79 out of 123 is 0.64. So there's about a 64% chance that the student is either a freshman or a management major. Now we're working with the and, with the intersection, junior and marketing. So once again, we look at the two variables that we care about, the junior row, the marketing column. But this is the intersection. This is where it's both a junior and a marketing major. So it's just that 10. It's just the 10 students that are both juniors and marketing majors. So that becomes our numerator. And we once again divide it by our grand total of 123. So that comes out to 0.08. So there's roughly an 8% chance that a student is a junior and a marketing major. Now for the final one, the probability of a management major. We're just looking at management now. We don't have any other types of variables. So we take the total number of management students and divide it by 123 again. So that comes out to 